Should you buy a car? Should you lease it? Let's find out. So today we will be comparing Ford Mustang EcoBoost 2024 model. One person will be buying the car and the other person will be leasing the car. So the person A will lease the car and the person B will buy a car or finance a car. So the duration which we have taken is a long term lease. So person A takes a four year of long term lease and the person B who is taking the finance will take it for five years on a ballpark of APR of 3.9 which has been given by Ford and we can see it in the screen as well afterwards. So uh, let's look into the numbers. You can see that uh, this is the payment estimator of the Ford Mustang from the Ford website and I have this Ford website open as well and I've taken a screenshot of leasing and then I've taken a screenshot of finance as well. So both the screenshots has been taken to have a head to head comparison in this uh, particular Excel. Here uh, you can see that for leasing, if we are having down payment of zero and we are taking a lease for four years, which is the highest, uh, we have to pay at least four, $431 per month. And the particular price for this vehicle is 33,160. But then if you get an incentive, it will be 32,160. So we are considering the estimated net price as the price for the, the particular lease. And then based on this, we are getting this 431 per month, which we have to pay for four years to lease. So let's look into the finance part. So if we are financing a, a particular Ford Mustang EcoBoost for almost five years, then the payment or the EMI, which will come is around $598 per month, considering the price is 32515 so this is the price which we are taking into consideration while financing and we are keeping our down payments as zero so that we are not putting any money upwards. So the particular EMI comes around 598 per month for five years with the APR of 3.9 given by Ford. So if we uh, look into this particular calculation, the leasing and the finance, we can see that for leasing the car price is around 32,160. That is what we have seen. And the monthly payment was 431. The duration was 48 months. That means the overall payment which we have made after four years is almost $20,688. For finance part, if we look into the price of the car, that's 32,515. And then the monthly payment was 598 and that is for the duration of five years but just to have a apples to apple comparison we'll say that this financed car we will be selling it after four years in this the duration for the loan duration can be five years the down payment was given as zero the apr which we got from ford is 3.9 and then the total payment in four years the total payment which we have given as in the form of emis were $28,704. The payment left to fully own the car is $7,019. It has been calculated based on this. So this is the exact uh, particular value for the interest in the principal year on year. So if you can see after fourth of year, we are left with $7,019. So that is what pending which we have to pay to Ford to own the car um and that so so that is one and then the second part is price of the car after four years so considering it's a sports car so it will be depreciated at least 40 percent is what i am taking into consideration so it's a best case scenario for leasing as well because i'm taking a sports car into perspective but keeping this on 40 percent depreciation uh we will after selling the car after four years we'll get at least nineteen thousand and five hundred dollars that means the cash in hand after four years because we have to pay 7,000 to Ford and then we have uh, like after selling the car we are having $19,500 with us that means we are having $12,500 with us as a cash in hand and then the total invested value so we have invested 28,700 and we are having $12,500 as of now so if you subtract 12,500 from 28,700, 
you will get 16,200. So this is what we have invested while buying a car, right? So by looking into the numbers, we can see that the difference is almost $4,500 when it has been leased or when it has been financed. So the clear winner is finance um, on this. So the difference is obviously $4,500, which is huge. And that is what I've written down over here as well, that the difference is almost $4,474. Uh, which is almost 13.76% of your car's value. So that's a huge number. So obviously finance wins. So I've taken a sports car deliberately because generally sports car depreciates a lot. That means leasing makes sense. But still based on the calculation, I do feel that if you are buying a sports car, finance is still a better option than leasing. And just do your due diligence as well afterwards in terms of the calculation part. But I do feel that finance obviously in most of the times always wins than leasing. So I'll recommend to finance a car rather than to lease a car. If you like the content, do hit a thumbs up and do let me know in comment section what you like the most. And for more contents, just subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. See you. Bye bye.